everyone. So I feel like lately all my videos have been about, you know, decorating and some of my Etsy stuff and then holiday things. And I thought this morning when I woke up, I am in the mood to paint a piece of furniture. I actually got itchy fingers just thinking about it. table that I picked up at a garage sale. I paid $10 for it. Right away when I saw it, I knew that I would of course, you know, paint it and then definitely apply a glaze or something to bring out the character that's in it. But what I'll be doing today is something that I've never really done before. So here I go winging it again on a video. I'll not, I'm never sure if it'll turn out, but I'll, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, first of all, the color that I'm painting it is out of my comfort zone. It's not white or a neutral color. Um, it is a beautiful shade of green. I have a little bit left in this can. It's years old, but it still looks okay. Uh, but I thought uh, I'll paint it this shade of green here. And my husband had actually picked up um, this paint at a place where he worked years ago. And they had done some paint samples, so it doesn't even really have a name that I can give you guys. But uh, hopefully in the after pictures, maybe you can kind of see what color it is. But I'd say it's, I'd probably call it like a turquoise maybe, but it's more on the green side. A little bit of blue in there too. And then what I'll be doing that's really different from my usual is instead of applying a dark glaze like I usually do, I am going to be using a white glaze. I don't know, I'm sure some of you have probably tried that already. Um, I don't think I've ever done it before, but I've seen where people do that and it just brings out a different look on a piece, you know, versus the dark glaze. So we'll see how it goes and again, I can always paint over it if I don't like it. Um, but the glaze I'm using here is by Valspar. It's called a sealing wax, and it doesn't really say on the back whether I can do this or not, but what I'm planning on doing is mixing some white paint in with this glaze. And the white paint I'll be using to color my glaze is just my usual go-to paint, do it best brand, um, the best look, and it is satin base, and it's just ultra white is the name of it. And then I have some crud cutter here that I'll be going over the piece first with, and my trusty paintbrush. Since it's too cold outside to spray paint, I'll be in here in my kitchen painting this piece and I have my um, three inch slanted bristle brush that I just love. And I'll try to link some of these things down below um, in the description box uh, in case you're looking for something like this. I'm pretty sure I can link the brush and maybe the, the wax and the, the crud cutter, I'm not sure about the paint. So I can't wait to get started on this and join me as I work on it and we'll see how it goes. As you have probably seen often on my videos, I will use this crud cutter as a deglossing agent before painting. And what it is is just a pre-paint surface preparation. Um, it saves you from sanding. Now and then, if something is really extra shiny or glossy, I will sand it down a bit, but this piece is not, so I'm good with just giving it a good cleaning.
see this dries fairly quickly. I could almost start on the second coat on the leg that I started out with, but some of the crevices still have some wet paint. So I'm gonna let it set here um, until it's dried. I normally don't wait a couple hours like it says on instructions on the can. I just go by touch. If it's dry, I give it another coat. I reuse my brushes over and over again. Um, I just make sure when I clean them to just run water through them until there is not a trace of the paint left over. That way it will be nice and soft for next time. I'm not going to measure out my paint and wax here. I'm just going to guess and try to get one part paint to two parts of the sealing wax. So I'm just a little bit nervous here because right now this table is looking pretty good the way it is, but I know in order to bring some of this character out, I do need to apply that wax. And like I said, I've never done a white wax, so I think it's gonna look okay, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, right now I have, a, I have two rags. One is dry and one is wet. Um, it's just an old t-shirt and I'm not quite sure will I need the wet one to get rid of some of the paint or the glaze. Um, we'll see. I'll probably start out with maybe using the dry one and then if it doesn't you know, take everything off that I want to be taken off, I'll probably use the damp one here and I'll be applying the glaze using my same brush that I use for the paint. So already I see I will need to use the wet rag to get more of the glaze off. So here's what I learned with applying this white wax. I probably should have started in the back where you can't really see uh, because a lot of the time when you start doing something new like this, you kind of get better at it as you know time goes on. So I feel like I actually put too much of it on right at the beginning. I feel like this little lion head here is way whiter than the other one. So what I'm gonna do is just take my green paint here and see if I can just brush some green over some of the areas where I feel there's too much white, um, see if I can kind of blend that in.
For now, I will just use the same knob that was on the piece when I got it. Um, it's not horrible looking and I don't really have anything else on hand. The last thing I'm gonna do to this piece is line the drawer with some wallpaper. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any requests of some painting techniques you would like to see here on my channel, feel free to mention it in the comments below. I can't promise, you know, I'll get to it right away, but I'll definitely keep it in mind. Not that I have all the answers to every painting technique out there, but I can give it my best shot and kind of share what has worked for me over the years. If you want to be notified of future videos that I post, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.